In this video, we're going to take a look at a, an object that's inside an Oracle database called a view. And a view makes your life easier. It's there to kind of manipulate the different columns and information that's in your Oracle tables. And it allows you to either hide some information or join a whole bunch of the tables together in a really complex way. And it just makes things a lot easier for when you're writing SQL code against your database. So there's two main things that you can usually do with a view. The first thing is you can hide columns. And we'll take a look at an example of that in a second. And the second thing that you usually use a view for is to join tables together. We'll take a look at both of those coming up. So let's take a look at the first thing. I might want to hide a column on a table. So let's take a look at a, a table. And from previous videos, you know, we've set it up so that let's take a look at the employee table. We've talked about, you know, you can think of a table as kind of a spreadsheet. So these are going to be my columns here in my spreadsheet. Let me change the color here. And, you know, we might have something like last name, first name. Wow, it's not easy writing with this tablet. And then we'll have a whole bunch of other columns here. And then one of the columns we'll probably have is something like salary. And then we'll have different employees on our table. So, you know, you might have Smith, John, salary, 100,000. Um, Robert Fox, with a salary of 60,000, and a whole bunch of other employees that go on there. One of the challenges we have is that when we grant privileges on this table, we grant them to the entire table. So uh, the people in our HR department who need to see employees, once we grant them select privileges on the employee table, they have privileges to see everything. They can see last name, first name. They can see salary information. That may not be desirable for us inside our organization. We might want to have a, a bunch of HR employees who can look at the employee table, but they don't, we don't want them to see salary. We want to protect that information. In some of the advanced features of Oracle, you can go in there and hide certain columns. But for the basic features of Oracle, you can't do that. It's kind of an all or nothing thing. So one of the things that we can do is that we can create a view on the employee table, hide the columns that we're not interested in, and then grant privileges on that view. So we might create a view that looks at something like you know last name, first name, all of the other columns that go along with this and omit the salary column. So we might create a view called, you know, employee uh, no sal. And then when we go out and we create that view, we can then grant privileges on the view to our employees in the HR department. So then they can go in and they can look at all the employee information and hide the salary information and not be able to see that. That's one of the ways that we can hide columns. Let me just clear this here. The second thing that we mentioned is going out there and joining tables together. Join tables. We're going to take a look at both of these uh, in a real world example. So in order to get as much redundancy out of my database as possible, I, I try to break down all the different pieces of information. So again, if we have an employee table, and we'll have last name here. We'll have a whole bunch of other columns that go along with it. One of them might be department. And I might have another table that's out here that has all department information. And I might have something like 10 is Denver, 20 is Phoenix, and a whole bunch of other information. So when I store this information here, so Smith is going to be in department 10. Jones is going to be in department 20. If I write a report that goes against the employee table, this may not be meaningful information. 
So I'll have a report that has 10s and 20s and 30s and everything like that on it. And people might look at the report and say, you know, that doesn't mean anything to me. I want to see the actual city that each one of these employees are in. So I'm going to have to write a join that joins these two tables together. Now, when you're joining two tables together, it's usually not that big a deal. But if I have to join information from a whole bunch of different tables together, that can be really complex and uh, slow down not only the way people query information, but slow down my developers, slow down the processing that goes on inside my database. I can create a view that kind of pre-joins all this information together that says, OK, I want to pull certain columns from my employee table like last name and first name and salary and birth date and everything like that. But then when it comes to department, I don't want to pull this information. I want to join to my department table and start pulling the actual city names. So that's a second way that we can use views to make things a heck of a lot easier. And I'm going to show you uh, examples of both of those things right now. So I'm going to hop into my JDeveloper tool. And there it is all the way at the end. Uh, I'm sorry, I said JDeveloper, uh, SQL Developer. So for those of you who have seen my other videos, I use SQL Developer a lot. It's a free tool. It's given away by Oracle. And uh, it's a real nice way of uh, interacting with your database. And the, one of the really nice things about it is that you can use the graphical tools to create tables and create views and do all those sorts of things. But you can also see the SQL that goes on behind the scenes so you can understand exactly what's going on inside your database. So. Let's take a look at all of the different tables I have defined. So here's my employees table. And just like I mentioned before, if I look at the columns, I can see that I have all these different pieces of information about my employee. But I also have one called salary. And I may not want uh, a whole bunch of people looking at that information inside my HR department. But if I grant privileges to query the employees table, they get to see everything. There's no way for me to go in there and say, OK, give them privileges down to the column level. They're going to see the whole table. So my way around that is to create a view. And you can see that here in SQL Developer, I have this views uh, part of my tree here. And if I right click on it, I can create a new view. Again, the real nice thing about this is that I can use uh, all the graphical tools uh, for me to, to make this real easy for me. But I can also see the DDL, the actual SQL code behind the scenes, so I can understand exactly what's going on in my database. So I'm going to call this amp no sal. And the SQL query is I'm going to select everything from my employees table. And if I move this over here, I can see all the different column names. Se select everything from my employees table except the salary column. So I'm going to select employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number. I mean, you get the idea. I'm not going to put all the columns here. But I'm just going to grab the ones that I'm on that I'm looking for from hr.employees. On the right hand side here, there's a test query button, so I can test the query. It says uh, it doesn't like that semicolon at the end there, so I'm going to get rid of that. Going to get rid of that space between those two guys. I don't think that makes a difference, but I'll test the query. Query executed successfully. We say close. We click on OK. The view is then created inside my database. And then I can go in and I can query that as if it's a regular table. So if I look at employee no salary, and I look at the data, you can see I have all the data that's coming directly from my employees table, but I don't have the columns that I didn't specify. Again, there was a whole bunch of other columns that are out there. But it's it's as if this was a table inside my database. So if I go in here, I can say something like select star from HR imp no salary. Run that query. And you can see there's all the information with all leaving out all of the different columns that I didn't specify in the view. So that's one of the really nice things that I can do. So then I can grant privileges on employee no salary to the other users inside my system. So now they have access to some of the employee information, but not all of it. Again, if I granted grant, uh, select privileges on the employees table to another user, they would be able to see salary information, and that not, may not be desirable. So if we go back to the employees table here, and we take a look at all the different pieces of information. Something that we have all the way at the end. Oops, sorry. 
take a look at the data. I was looking at the columns. Something that we have all the way at the end is what I was talking about before. We have this department ID, and those numbers really don't mean anything. So if I were to create a report off this where I saw 90 and 130, uh, you know, the, somebody looking at the report would probably be, what in the world does that mean? If I look at my departments table, you can see how the department ID corresponds to a specific department name. The department name is what I want to actually show up on my report. So another thing that we can do with a query is, uh, with a view, excuse me, is to go in there and create a view that joins the different tables together and gives me the different pieces of information that I need. So again, I'm going to go into views, and I'm going to say a new view, and I'm going to say, I'm going to call this one employ emp with Depart name. So this is employee with department name. So again, what do I want to actually grab here? I want to grab some of the uh, columns from employees. So we probably want to get, let's say, uh, last name, first name, and let's say phone number. So I'm going to grab those from my employees table. But then when I go to departments, I want to go out there and I want to take a look and say, you know what, for departments, I want to actually get department name. I don't want to get the department number. So I'm also going to put in department name. So then I have to specify, OK, where is this information coming from? Well, it's coming from HR employees. And it's also coming from HR departments. Now I have to specify my join condition. How am I going to join those two guys together? Whoops. So then I'm going to say, make this look a little nicer, where hr.employees.department ID is equal to HR dot departments dot department ID. And I just saw a mistake that I made there. I put HR underscore departments. It should be HR dot departments. And again, if we want to make sure that we have everything set up properly, we can do test query. OK, query executed successfully. Then I'm just going to say OK so that the view gets out there and created. And you can see that I have this new view out there called employee with department name. So if I look at the data there, it pulls back the information. And instead of having a department number there, it actually has the department name. So now when it comes time for me to actually write a report, I don't have to worry about join syntax. And again, because we're only joining two tables, it's not that big a deal. But if I was joining three or four or five different tables together and I was doing a whole bunch of different stuff there, it could be uh, a real pain in the neck in a short period of time. Here. I can just join the information together, create them in the view, and now I have the ability to go in there. And again, I can treat this as if it's a table inside my database. So I can say employee with department name, and I can execute that select from query there. And as it runs, it'll come back. And you can see instead of the department numbers that are in employee, I'm actually pulling the department name from that other table. So this video gives you a quick down and dirty view of what Oracle views look like. This is just kind of the beginner uh, way of getting into them. There's a whole bunch of more cool functionality that goes along with Oracle views. And we're going to take a look at a lot of those in uh, uh, other videos that go along with uh, taking a look at what an Oracle view looks like.